disclaimer, hindi po ako eksperto sa larangan na ito. Ang aking mga ginawang video ay base lamang sa aking karanasan at personal na nalalaman. Hello guys, once again, Kuya Marbs Buling nagbabalik para sa aking bagong video tutorial. This video tutorial is all about formatting and setting up your laptop using Windows Operating System through bootable USB Drive. Alright? Ito po yung bootable USB Drive na ginawa natin sa ating unang video. So, ito yung gagamitin natin pang format sa ating desktop or laptop. Okay, let's Okay, let's start. So, ipa-plug in na natin yung USB doon sa desktop na gusto natin i-reformat. Okay? So, pagkatapos natin ma-plug yung bootable USB drive natin, guys, doon sa desktop. So, pagkatapos natin ma-power on yung computer natin, guys. So, i-hit lang natin yung delete button, guys. Dito sa ating keyboard para hit mo lang continuously para makapasok tayo sa BIOS ng ating computer. So, BIOS, it means Basic Input-Output System. So, yan po ang ibig sabihin ng BIOS. So, dito sa BIOS, guys, uh, dito natin i- dito natin i-set up yung booting process ng at ating computer, guys. So, hanapin na natin, guys, yung booting option, yung boot option niya. So, ito, guys, yung naka-priority niya is No, tingnan na lang natin sa hard drive priority. Ang naka-priority dito, naka-priority dito guys is yung SATA guys. Tingnan niyo guys yung SATA. Yung SATA siya naka, yung SATA ang naka-priority kaya kailangan natin yung boot option 1, kailangan dapat yung USB. So, yung USB drive dapat yung naka boot option boot option number 1 so USB drive ito select natin yung USB disk 2.0 yan okay then go back tayo dun sa ating boot option dito yan guys kasi yung model ng motherboard guys is gigabyte so ito yung setup guys sa gigabyte motherboard so dapat yung boot option niya is USB pa rin guys kasi nakasata yun guys kasi nakasata kasi yung ano yung naka boot option 1 so i-select natin yung USB so okay na guys ang boot option natin number 1 is USB yung bootable USB drive natin so after that uh, F10 hit lang natin ng F10 sa keyboard then mayroong nagpapap up na message Save and exit setup. Save configuration and exit. Yes or no? So yes, tayo guys. Select natin yung yes. Katapos nung guys, hit nilang ang ang enter key para maditik niya yung USB drive to you know. So then guys, nagsimula na siyang magboot up sa ating bootable disk sa ating bootable USB drive. So, wait lang natin guys. So, since uh, Windows 10 yung ginagamit natin na operating system, so, ganun yung appearance niya guys. Medyo malabo guys. Malabo nung malabo yung uh, ayan guys. It looks like you started, may message ya. It looks like you started an upgrade and boot from installation media. You want to continue with an upgrade with the upgrade, remove the media from the PC and click yes, if you want to perform clean installation instead, click no so, click no natin guys kasi gusto natin i-reformat yung computer natin click no okay, then so, language language to install English, United States time and currency format uh, ganun pa rin, United States keyboard input method so US then click next na natin okay. naka default na yan guys click next alright click next ok then click install 
din. Click natin yung install guys. So, wait lang natin kasi nag-process. Okay. So, after that, just click I don't have a product key guys. Select I don't have a product key. Okay. So, ito yun. Then, ito guys. Kung ano yung gusto mong uh, Windows operating system. Since 64-bit, yung common na ginagamit natin guys. So, 64-bit yung ang... Uh, 64-bit yung i-install natin guys. So, pipiliin natin itong home. Okay, ito lang yung home na gamit mo guys. 64-bit. Then, click next. Then, after that, okay, may mga ano siya, license agreement siya guys. Just click accept. Then click next. And then custom select. Kasi reformat nga natin, hindi natin kailangan mag-upgrade. So dito tayo sa custom. Custom install. Custom install. So format. It's format the drive. So, pwede naman i-delete natin guys. Delete lang. Delete. Okay. Kung gusto talaga natin na clean installation talaga siya, pwede natin i-delete lahat. Kasi, naka-partition na to guys. Na dati na itong naka-partition ng yung hard disk niya. Kaya, i-delete muna natin lahat. Para maging clean talaga siya. So, yan guys. Drive zero and allocated space. So, after na-delete na natin lahat yung ano, mga partition, just click new. Then, apply. Okay. Okay. Just do it. And then, format. Click okay and format. So, after that, just click next. So, hintayin na natin guys. Ito yung uh, installing windows. So, yun guys. Uh, hintayin na lang natin kasi nag-start na siya mag-install ano, mag ng windows. So, ayun guys, malapit nang matapos. So, nandiyan na siya sa installing updates. Malapit na siya. So, malapit na, finishing up na. Wait. Okay. Restart. So, automatically nag-restart siya, guys. Wait lang natin. Wait lang. So. So, na-detect pa rin niya yung, yung ating uh, portable drive. Yung, so, kailangan natin i-remove. Yung pag-first restart niya, i-remove niyo yung portable USB drive. 
kasi di ba nag-install yun. Pagkatapos niya mag-install ng Windows, nagre-restart siya guys. So, pag sa hindi pa siya makapag, ano talaga, makapag-boot. So, pag hindi pa talaga siya makapag-restart, kunin, kunin niyo muna yung, ano, kunin niyo muna yung SP drive. Ito ang mangyari guys, pag, no, pag hindi niyo kinuha yung USB drive, kasi kanina nga, pagkatapos niya mag-install, automatically nag-restart siya. So, kailangan kunin mo yung USB drive para hindi niya mag-install kasi na-press boot natin siya sa ating BIOS. Then, eh, restart niyo ulit guys. And then, eh, restart natin ulit. Okay. Restart. Yan. Yeah. Pag-reset niya, para automatically magpo-boot niya siya sa hard disk niya. Hindi niya siya sa SP. Kasi kinuha na natin yung SP doon. So, ang mag-refresh sa first boot, automatically yung hard disk. Kasi yung BIOS mag-search siya sa ini-installed -ins operating system sa kanyang hard disk. So, ganyan yung mangyari guys. Simula sa pag ano niya guys, simula sa pag restart niya, first restart niya, wala pa akong ginalaw guys, ah. hinayaan ko lang siya mag-practice ng ganyan. Ganyan yung first, uh, first, ano na guys, first appearance niya sa, ano, sa, uh, Windows 10. So, inayaan ko yung pana guys, para mag ano, siya. So, select, just select United States. United States, like, yes. Let's start with region, this right now. So let's start with region. Is this right? Yes, Philippine. Is this right? Keyboard layout. US. So US means. Pili natin yung US. Keyboard layout. Then, want to add second keyboard layout. So, select natin skip tayong i-dagdag pa na nila. So, wait lang natin. E, ano, Nag-basis na naman niya. Now, we have some important setup to do. So, ito guys, who's going to use this PC? So, pangalan mo guys. So, example, Kuya Mahal. Okay, just, then just click next. Password. Okay. Okay, then click next. Confirm password. Security one, oh, agad na yan. Next na lang. Oh, yeah. Power play. Okay. First bit name. Hit it. Alright. Hit it. Let's click next. Na, meron pang security question number two.
Hazard nickname. Okay. Tayo na na natin. Marvin. Next. Next. Uy, ang dami naman po siya. All this. Uh, Where is the name of the first school you attended? The guys in the first school. getting everything ready for you. Dito na nagtatapos yung ating uh, video tungkol sa formatting your desktop or laptop using a portable USB type. So, thank you and God bless.